Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Let's Play Hearts Fine 4, 1984. Let's continue on for the last of the off. So, our advances are not going as well as I wish they could be. Do we have, any, do we have air superiority here? We do, because the AI literally has no aircraft at all. But even the entire African front is kind of just faltering a little bit. We might even just need to hold off all of you. Which I hate, because we can see that Eurasia right now is pushing her way pretty handily through Egypt. 43 to 108. You know, you push like this. I can see, maybe we can go up the coastline like here. Maybe that'll work. Also, you guys are too similar in color. I'm going to make you into the green army so I can uh, have a little bit of a better vision. Yeah, let's attack the weaker fronts. We don't need to be pushing where they have a lot of men. If we just push where nobody is, we'll have an easier time with things. that That's my philosophy. I do see we have some Marines in here. Probably like not the best use of them. Plus one rubber. Fuel. So each one gives us 48 fuel. And honestly, I think we kind of got to take it. Because we produce, like, no natural oil at all. And, of course, all of the major economies are basically cut off from us. So in, like, a year from now, when the major war breaks out between all the factions, we will have literally no one to trade with. So we need to build up all of our fuel reserves now. ASAP. How long do these even take to build? I have no idea. March 14th. Oh, they're actually a little expensive. 1450. Or 14,500. But I literally don't think I ever build... Yeah, like, I, I never fucking build, uh... Fuel depots. But, of course, most of the time, I'm not at war with literally everybody. So, you know, fair enough. What if I can build a, um... What if I build a dock? What if we build, like, a dock on this side? You're actually running out of supplies right now. 7 to 17 ships. We've reformed the Navy. Discount transport models. You know, that actually could be pretty good. Reuters. Actually, none of you are really what we want. I want the submarines, if anything. Yeah, so I guess we'll go for little boats first. Maybe, maybe this will be a campaign where only submarine fleets actually are not the best op like not the best option. I never thought I would see the day. Actually, they're actually moving tr more troops out of here. Where are they moving to? I don't really know. Push you like this. That's going okay. Again, once we hit 75% world tension, all the free nations will join into one big alliance. We do want to avoid that if we can. Do something like this. Our supplies are still, like, not great. But just keep putting damage on them. Okay, one of our agents was captured. I'm assuming one of our agents here. Right now, that's 27%. 27.35. You guys are at 29%. And I believe it said if any faction gets up to 40%, their the country will, like, break apart. Yeah, rescue operative. We'll rescue with our other operative. Commencement ready. Seventy-three, eighty-five, eighty-one. 85, 81. Africa is down to 73%. And they're already going to push their way down to Sudan. They're doing very well for themselves, and I hate it. Uh, you push in like this. You guys push. Oh, that's a, there's a there's a river there. Okay, let's not worry about that then. Do something like this. We can capture a way around. I don't think it's, it's probably not called Lake Victoria anymore. The end is nigh. Well, people of the three grand art nation may not realize there's honor that uh, knowledge exists. Uh, top commanders. A ceasefire has been declared at one time during the Great War. 
War is coming. So yeah, in one year from now, the greatest war of human history will begin. Push your troops like this. You come around like you. Green army, I still want just for now here. And we can probably get them to connect in the future. And move your way up north. Oh, you might not actually have access to your capital anymore because the capital is here. No, there, there's still a supply route, but it might not be the best. You can capture more ports. And these areas connect here. But maybe we can push up north. What about you guys? What are you doing? I mean, we want to take Somalia. Somalia has great oil reserves. Eurasia has actually managed to navally invade India. So, I mean, that's something they've done. Good on them. Yeah, but like the navy... We'll try it for one second. 45. We have superiority here. Maybe if I were to immediately... Okay, no. Actually, all the planes are already still out here. Okay, we have 100%. We have no superiority of the team or C. Okay, so actually this does apparently connect down. Now you have superiority. We've got these six divisions going to land in Jakarta. Apparently there's actually nobody... Okay, I was going to say there's nobody in Jakarta, but now there is. Which means that, yeah, all of you now should basically not have a uh, attack. So move in like this. Because okay, getting Jakarta is going to get us the capital of Indonesia. And again, I'm hoping that most of the Indonesian troops have landed in Java to try to fight us off. We did take Jakarta... Which means I immediately want my navy to land, because I am terrified that they will all die. Okay, and you've landed here successfully. Move our troops up north. Capture the rest of Borneo. Do that as aggressively as possible. Thank you. And then you guys here. You need to start pushing your way up this island. So do that as you uh, please. You've all been surrounded. I don't know how many more troops Indonesia has. 21 to 95. We don't see any troops up here. We might as well prepare a small naval invasion into this island. And we probably also eventually want to start preparing a naval invasion into the Philippines. But I think those are things we can wait on afterwards. How much naval units do you guys have? We don't know. I wouldn't mind invading Indochina. Uh, landing troops into Singapore and capturing the south. I mean, India is dead. There's no doubt about that. Also, you guys don't even have an attack plan. Should be moving up north. Simply your battle plan. Because we don't really want to move in that direction. Ah, no, no, you're still actually fine. Again, I want you to move your way over here. Take what you can in Africa. I mean, we've now at least have pushed past our... I mean, we haven't pushed that far into past our initial borders, but we've at least done something. We've also got three technologies that I can research. Steel game from refineries. Oil probably... Do we need... Wait, do we need rubber? Eh, kind of? I will go for at least the one rubber per factory. And then with you guys, you know what? Maybe we'll actually produce some battleships. I know, crazy. An unprecedented event in Anthem history. Okay, so it looks like... You've joined the faction. I did check this out. The faction does spawn down here. I don't know if you have any men, though. Or if you could just, like, navally invade you. Indonesia joined the Brotherhood. Indochina's joined the Brotherhood. So it looks like... They've actually joined the faction a little bit early. Africa joined the Alliance. I think every country is probably considered a major. India might actually die before... They can do anything. But you know what? Maybe looking at it now, I don't think that's actually true. It's a little bit annoying, because now... Yeah, every country is considered a major power. We need to kill all of them. How many men do we have in total? By the way, uh, look at these numbers on... The... 
We have 177 units. Or F the Eurasia and East Asia are both more powerful than us. So we really are gonna have to rely on Eurasia and East Asia killing the hell out of each other while we kind of sit back and build up. Also, Green Army, please stop deploying over here. This is extreme. This is just a blue zone, okay? Only blue troops are allowed past this point. But more units here. Purple Army still doing okay. Yeah, so we're now at war with you as well. Which means we are going to need to probably send troops into Singapore soon. India has capitulated. Giving East Asia basically free reign over Indochina. I don't know, again, I don't know how many men they have. I mean, how close is everybody else? Africa and Indonesia are about halfway dead. Indochina hasn't lost that much land. I am going to send... I'm going to split you... I'm going to take, like, one ship. You are going to go here. I just want to see what defenses exist. Apparently near the Fuhrer Bunker version 2.0. Yeah, so again, you guys move up north. You fall in. I'm gonna attack you in a second. 49 strength in the Java Sea is a little bit much. But, I mean, they're close to death. Eurasia's taking a lot of land. How much to, How much of the war does it think that we've done? It thinks we've done 18%. It thinks East Asia has done a, a lot more than that. Yeah, and also, you guys should be attacking. Attack where you can. Casualty numbers, I think we're okay... Uh, with a lot of people dying right now. But we also need, like, way more infantry. You have 14 million manpower. But we're just not producing the guns necessary for prolonged warfare. You see some Indonesian troops on the border up here. You guys should actually still be attacking. Should have told you to stop. That's my bad. Go around like this. Uh, we'll go for the 1984 technology now as well. Because I think it's a, it's an okay time to get that done. Yeah, then we can land troops here. We do see the East Asia at, at some point attempt to land troops in the Philippines. But I don't know how well that's worked out. We might as well also be preparing a naval invasion from you into Singapore. And just try to take southern territory here. I mean, you're... I was going to say, you're not long for this world. But, I mean, you're still doing very, very well for yourself. How are you still... I'm surprised that you've lived as long as you have. Just split you in half. One of you stays here. Keep you here... We're not doing a naval invasion right now, so you might as well have our uh, aircraft actually fighting over land. Also, I should be researching something. There we go. How are our spies doing? They need to go back into Eurasia. Yeah, 19. It looks like Eurasia has dealt with their problem. East Asia is still dealing with a brotherhood issue. Is there any more stuff we want here? Probably better cryptology. How long until our cipher with you is done? 1,400 days. Okay, cool. Happy to see it. But yeah, I think this island's basically dealt with. I'm going to take... I think it's going to take half of you out of here, but... Got a fallback line here. Actually, all of you can probably go to this front. Seventy-four ships, nine thousand strength. Uh, I don't like nine thousand strength. That's more strength than they usually had have had in the past. We will also upgrade our bombers. We'll upgrade. We're not gonna. No, we're not gonna upgrade our rifles. Actually, wait. How much do you cost? 0.45 to 0.52. How much better are you? 
20, 22 defense, 28 defense. Oh, that's actually, that's way better, actually. We'll definitely upgrade. And then I'm gonna have one guy just march your way through here. Borneo has basically fallen to our armies. You love to see it. They've been overrun. Oceania has basically secured Indonesia for itself. She was like, East Asia got you. Eurasia got Arabia. Well, well East Asia and, and you split up Arabia. But aside from that, the African armies are doing okay. We're at least actually making progress against them. You're about half, again, halfway dead. We've got Tunis worth 10. Algiers worth 5. You're worth 5. Adisa Baba, you think, would be worth, worth like 5 points as well. The rest of the land is a lot more eh. And I would love to kind of close off this gap. Which we actually might be able to do just by walking a troop across. We'll see how that goes. Naval speed plus 5%. Go Sir Long a lot, I guess? Seems okay. okay. Do we see any more ports over here? You gotta remember that AI will never build a port. So that's nice. Again, we'll put 7 on this front. And you shouldn't just be invading Singapore. How many times have I learned the lesson that you shouldn't just invade one province? We'll go five like that. Capture the port here so the AI can't use it. And again, I'm, I'm fine if East Asia was to take over the Philippines. Actually, is there any major cities here? One, you're worth three. You're worth one as well. Oh, so that's the ship I sent down here. There is somebody on it, but we don't know how powerful they actually are. I mean, they also don't have a port, so they can't actually leave. One million people living on it. I'm assuming this exists just for this uh, faction to be created. But I also, I don't really want to send men to test out the theory of... Uh, Okay, purple, I think you've expanded far enough, at least for the moment. Whole position, regroup a little bit. Green army's taking some pretty heavy casualties. We're missing 12,000 rifles. And I think for right now, we're going to set you down to regular for the moment. And I think the rest of you can also just stop attacking for a second. And Eurasia's doing really good in Africa. But without them, we would not have been able to push in as far as we have. Research, go construction. Go one more fuel per oil. We're getting 530 from... Okay, our refineries are actually like doing nothing at all. How much oil are we getting out of our new possessions? 11. Okay, cool. So nowhere near enough... Uh, what are some of you guys? Industrial research speed. The plague consumption going down actually would be really nice. Naval invasion time as well would also be pretty good. Air drop. Let's go on supply, and then I'm honestly going to take one for um, Poseidon's Wrath. Better naval invasions are always good. Okay, we're going to try to sound out the navy for a second. And the Air Force, sail out here for a quick... Who's over here? Why are, you, why are you flying here? At least go to, like, the Java Sea. 32. 32% is not enough. And you do even worse, actually, in the Straits of Malacca. So, you know, just stay docked for the moment. Because we really can't afford, I think, to navally invade anywhere else right now. As much of a shame as that is. How many troops have got in Europe? 23, 15, 24 to 48. We've got 62 divisions ready for an invasion of Europe. That's like not a lot at all. Straight interception. Which um doctrine did I take? Or have I not taken a doctrine yet? No. We we'll probably want to do trade interception because it's just better than everything else. Uh when it comes to utilizing. Oh, we actually just got my own unit trapped. <laughs> Let's clean this area up. 
two of you here. I'm gonna go one, and then one of you goes down to the south. You're worth one victory point. Tunisia has fallen. Africa's almost dead. I do wonder, though, how many troops are actually in the theater bunker. Probably a lot, I would have to imagine. I mean, the question is, do I send, like, a really shit or You know what? I will. I'm going to train up, like, three divisions. I'm going to put them on high priority, actually. And then we're going to send three divisions. I just want to see how many units are on that island. I'm assuming it's a lot. But I just want to know. I just want to be sure. Sixty-six. I think we do an engage at a high risk. That give you more points here. No. I know doing do not engage gives you less points. So apparently engage at low risk also actually gives you the exact same amount of uh, firepower. But we will keep you in bay for now. I'm going to send these guys down south as well. Again, I don't know how big the East Asian Navy is. I don't know how big the Eurasian Navy is. They're both probably pretty large. But what I do know is that at least for right now, I think it's going to be a good time for us to end this episode. So thanks everybody for watching. My name is Anthony. If you enjoyed, run thumbs up. Not enjoy, throw some down. If you want to see more, subscribe and goodbye.